good morning. So, first thing I do when I come in, I turn on the machine, make the bed, because at night I spray it down, let the sanitizer just sit and dry. Then in the morning I make the bed. And, yeah. So here's my overstock of things. And then I log into the computer and I make sure that either one, my patient is here, or two, my patient is not here. And let's take a look here. Um, patience so ouch it just hit my knee oh okay y'all can you tell me why they have this for my seat like I go home every day and my bum is like hurting so not cool but you got your sink in here wash your hands you got all the PPE things there telling you what to do, what not to do. Crash cart chart. If somebody passes out or needs assistance, um, you got your laundry, my fan, jail, and yeah. And this is like blankets if a patient gets cold. You got your blue. This is your gowns. And the white sheets down there, this is your gowns, and the white sheets down there are, um, come on, focus, are for, like, when you do a pelvic or whatever, if you want to drape your patient. Yeah, and then for my pelvic patients, the bathroom is right outside the door. So, that works, right? Hey, guys. So, it is my... Friday here. Um, actually, let's turn this one up on the bell. It is my Friday here, and let's chat a little bit. Um, my schedule today is not too bad. Let's see. I get off today at 1. Um, as I mentioned, and it's thinking. Whew. So my first patient is at eight. It's an abdomen. Then I have a pelvic transabdominal only. And then I have abdomen pelvic again complete an abdomen abdomen limited and an OB greater than 14 weeks is probably mostly just seeing if the patient is let me take this off <laughs> just seeing if the patient is um, how far along she is size greater than dates things like that and then I'm off so today I have four, five, six, seven patients in a six hour period. So pretty much an hour a patient almost. <laughs> so that's good. But what else? Um, yesterday, my son worked out really well. Um, he felt like, mom, I could do another two hours. Well, I wish I felt that way when I went to the gym. But I don't. So, um, today I get off at 1, so I'm going to go home, prep. I'm going to grill steaks on the grill because the heat is finally not in the three digits here in Northern California. So, I'm going to go home, grill steaks, and what else? I'm going to marinate them first. And then I can, like, clean up the kitchen, straighten up the things that need to be done. I started a load of clothes before work and I got my chai tea latte already <laughs> and um, yeah so 
I'm gonna do that and probably go on a walk. I wanna go on a walk or a bike ride, one of the two. We've been biking lately and it's been so nice in the evenings. So I'm trying to get my little cardio in. We go about between four to six miles the evening when we do go. We probably, we try to go at least three to four times a week. So um, that's nice. I'll take you, if I go bike riding, I'll take you guys with me just so you can see the beautiful homes. Oh my gosh, these homes, I wanna live there. And I'm looking to see if there's a house for sale in that area because we finally agree on a location <laughs> and the type of house we want to ranch style. I don't want to live in the city, but these homes are in the city, but they look like they're in the country. They're just beautiful, beautiful. You have land, you have space. So everything that I want it for the boys to have in a home these homes have it so I'm really hoping I can find one that is up for sale um, but I will show you that what else um, I haven't been up to much of anything lately just working my butt off um, the panorama really has messed with me mentally and I wanted to talk on that really quickly but I'm having and I'm struggling with social anxiety and hence as you can tell right I'm fully vaccinated I wasn't gonna say that on this platform however because um, I just don't want to get into it but I am fully vaccinated and my husband's fully vaccinated but my kids are not and one's too young one is of age and I, I'm just not ready for them to get it yet. However, he starts high school, right? He's starting high school and I want him to experience high school. I want him to go to high school. I just, I'm struggling because I'm like, they came out yesterday with, I guess the CDC said that kids that are fully vaccinated don't have to wear masks at school and the ones that are not um, has to continue to wear their mask. Well, to me, I have yet to see where the common ground mixing the two, no mask with mask, I just don't see that. I don't know, maybe I need to talk to a professional, I don't know, but um, I don't see how that is reasonable. <laughs> but CDC said it and um, with that being said, I had, I have enrolled both of my boys in homeschool again for this school year, the start of the school year, just to see how things are going. And then if by second go around, second, you know, when schools break and then come back from winter break in January, if things are good, then I might let them go back. But I really wanted my son to experience going to high school for the first time. But um, yeah, so with that being said, me socializing with other people, if it's at a distance, great. But I'm not there with like the no mask. And even if they're fully vaccinated, I'm just not there going into people's homes. I don't even go into my dad's home. I just... This has really woken me up because I didn't realize how much I had anxiety. I did never, I never knew that I did have an anxiety, but it's real. And I'm not going to get emotional, <laughs> but it is real. Um, it's kept me from work. It's kept me from living and it's hard because it's putting a strain on my marriage it puts a strain with my kids and you know where my husband he's fully vaccinated and he's like you're tripping whatever he still wears his mask when he goes to the gym he still um he wants to w be able to wear no mask at his mom's house and i'm just not there yet 
and I feel like if the kids are not vaccinated then they still should not go in someone's home fully vaccinated or not um, and they should wear their masks they shouldn't be eating in restaurants that's just how I feel especially when for you if you're unvaccinated and my kids are not and my son my youngest son has severe asthma and I just I don't know I have allowed my oldest to start going to the gym and I'm there with him and he does wear a mask the whole time but the people in the gym don't so I mean I'm still kind of putting him at risk a little bit but it's the good thing about that is not indoor gym it's all outdoors and they do have a building but they have all the gates up like all the garage doors up so like there's constant flow of air so that's huge plus um but yeah so if you're into praying if you're if you know god if, you, if you're a christian um pray for me because i know that You shouldn't live in fear. You shouldn't live that way. You shouldn't live life like that. Um, God said everything in the world is good. And, you know, when he created it, everything was good, you know. And I shouldn't question that. Um, things happen in life, and but he's in control over all of it. So I know my foundation. I know my faith. But it's just been a struggle allowing other people back into my life and me socializing with other people. So, um, I do wear a mask still. I don't go into establishments without no mask, regardless, vaccinated or not. Um, and, yeah. So, like I said, continue to pray for me and I'll continue to be on this journey. Because I know God has me. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to like harp on that real fast and I haven't put out much content. I am trying to up my ante on that because, um, it's not fair to you guys. I started something and I definitely want to continue it. This is something that I have a true passion for. Unfortunately, trying to juggle family, kids, activities, because I did sign my youngest up for football, but it got canceled. Um, but activities, getting home late, dinner, and just trying to juggle it all. YouTube kind of had to take a back, on the back end of things, back burner. But um, yeah, so this month I'm really trying to put out a lot of content. It's my birthday month. Um, we're supposed to be going somewhere. I really wanted to go to Hawaii, but... I couldn't make that happen. Um, so, any hooters. Uh, yeah, so my first patient just got here. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for listening. And let's see how this day goes. What's up, guys? So, I am done with work. I did a, gosh, I did a pelvic today. Funny thing is, is that, um, <laughs> so I'm scanning and I'm like, oh, you're pregnant. She's like, I am. And I'm like, you didn't know you were pregnant? And she was like, no, my last menstrual period was in May. And I'm like, well, that didn't bring a clue. Like, hey, I missed my period. She's like, no, I have irregular periods. I was like, oh, okay. I said, well, if you don't want it, you can give it to me. As you guys know, if you've been following me, I want another baby. So she was like, no, me and my husband's been trying for the past three years. Let me tell you. She said the last one that she was pregnant, she lost it. So this is a rainbow baby. But she has a 16-year-old and a 10 or 12-year-old. And I'm like, well, oh my gosh, you know, God sees fit when he wants to see fit not when we want to see fit just remember that it's not your schedule it's his schedule and his schedule is actually perfect so i would go with his versus ours any hooters she was so elated she started crying she's like thank you so much i was like girl i didn't do it i didn't i didn't knock you up i didn't it's not me 
And she fell out laughing. She was like, that is so hilarious. And I said, so, well, congratulations. And I gave her a little picture and let her hear the heartbeat. And as an ultrasound tech, you can let people know that they are pregnant or expecting. Um, you could actually let them know more things than what you actually think you can. Um, another patient asked me, well, about in 2012, I had a horrible accident. And I just want to know, for some reason, I have this feeling like they took my ovaries. And I'm like, oh, interesting. So... It was a pelvic, and I was scanning her. I'm like, well, I see your right ovary. Oh, I see your left ovary. Now, can I tell her if they're bad or good? No. Did I? Can I tell her if there's a mass or a cyst on it? No. But I was able to say, I see your ovaries. Um, and the other thing is, I didn't know that you could diagnose this clinically and let me know. My other stenographers, let me know if you, if you know this. Um, I've been in the game for some years now, and I didn't know... This is a clinical diagnosis by what the patient is feeling. And she said she was feeling nausea, abdomen pain, GERD, IBS. But the, her doctor said you're having the symptoms of liver cyst. So I will be looking that up. And this is just like a FYI. Oh, maybe I should turn my... I'm so sorry. I have my fan on. My air conditioned. So if you guys heard that, I'm so sorry. Um, But... I didn't know that could be tested or, you know, seen or, no, clinically diagnosed with your doctor by you just telling them your symptoms, liver cyst. I thought that was all through imaging, through CT, MRI, or ultrasound to be seen or to be found. Majority of the time, they're incidental findings, so, which means that, oh, there's a cyst, patient didn't have a clue. Um... So, like I did one yesterday, she had like a seven centimeter cyst in her liver. She was like, I'm not having no pain. I, I don't know. And the doctor keeps asking me, do I, am I in pain? And I'm like, okay, well, that's not a problem. But I didn't know that you could diagnose that clinically. So let me know in the comments, please. Because I am interested in, after I'm going to definitely do my studies, go home and, you know, look that up but that was new to me so did that she did have a liver cyst so I was like huh her doctor must be psychic anyways so I actually um signed my son up for actually I did not sign him up but a year ago through the whole panorama error um she, this guy on his birthday drove by and felt it laid on his heart to give my son six months free for working out like a workout session so I was like what so I just signed him up for that and the guy is so nice so sweet um and if you do live in Elk Grove California it's should I say that I'll ask my husband to see if I could, should I reveal that? But he gave him six months free and he's amazing. Um, it's him and his wife owns the gym and he's just the sweetest sweetheart. I swear. Um, he welcomed my son in and he introduced him to the weightlifting class and getting to get him acclimated with a uh, gym and just understanding and the safety of it all. So my son's second thing, second class is today at six and I just got off and I am traveling locally, which is like 45 minutes from my house, which is amazing for the whole month of July. It could go into August, but I'm not sure. But, um, for the whole month of July, I am only traveling 45 minutes and I was able to make my own schedule, right? So I'm working three eights and one six every week. For the month of July and um, so right now I'm headed to Walmart pick up a couple groceries and also him some weightlifting gloves um, and like a, I don't know like a towel I guess you could take to the gym so I'm gonna go do that um, it's kind of inspired me to do on my own weight loss journey like get in shape 
type of motivation. I'm like, you can't be the only one getting in shape. So he does have CrossFit there that I, the girls that I saw last week were powering through. I was like, dang, you guys make me feel like <laughs> lazy. I don't know what, I don't know, but I was just like, they were really, really, really inspiring. So I was like, okay, let me, let me get my act together. So that's what I'm doing. I'm in traffic now, as you guys saw. So I will catch you guys back up or catch back up with you when I leave Walmart and I'll show you a little Walmart haul in the car. All right. As you see, you know, wait, I, let me tell you. So when I go to work, I wear scrubs, but under my scrubs, I wear a t-shirt and leggings. So when I get in the car, I don't put those dirty clothes that I've been around patients and all that on my seats because I don't have leather seats. I have cloth seats and I don't want, I, I can't wipe them down, obviously. So I do spray them with Lysol as you've seen in my previous uh, videos, but um, yeah, so I just, you know, make sure that I don't bring those germs and I spray my shoes. I wear clogs to work now. <sighs> Not clogs. What are they? Birkenstocks? No, nope, not Birkenstocks. What are them rubber shoes? Um. <laughs> OMG. Really, Tamika? Get it together. So, I actually wear Crocs to work. So, they're rubber and they are they work perfect. You don't have to get the real clogs. I mean, real Crocs. Um, Walmart sells them just, they look just like Crocs. Um, for nine bucks and they're wipeable and you can spray them. I spray mine with like microban after I leave work. So yeah, just a little sanitary like tip for you. Um, but just to be on the safe side, you know, your family travels in your car, you travel in your car. I just want it to be like as sanitary as possible. Anyways, I will go and run into Walmart and I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, so at Walmart, I picked up some Lysol Nura Air 2-in-1. It's a eliminates odors and disinfects the air. So I use it after every patient and I spray it in the room. So I had to pick up some more of those. I got my dog. If you guys want a dog, you can have a dog. No, I, no, no, we're good. I swear, we're, it's we are good. We're good. You're we're what? Good. We're good. We don't. You, you guys don't need a dog. We're good. And then I picked him up some bite-sized chicken recipe with carrots and cranberries because he is spoiled and doesn't eat dry dog food. My boo boo. You see? Yeah, he's just like, no, I'm good, mom. And I picked him up some fresh pet um, slice and serve rolls. So I'm gonna mix the dry fruit with that. I picked up the sugar free G Hughes sugar free. Um, okay, so I hear great reviews on this sugar free ketchup of his. So I wanted to get some. I got the steak sauce, and I picked up a mango habanero for my husband. So because we're gonna do some wings coming up, and then the Thai chili, and then we got the sugar free ketchup. So I will let y'all know if these are good at all by my standards. But the next thing I picked up was Chick-fil-A sauce. I saw it finally and picked up two Chick-fil-A's and two Polynesian because I absolutely love those. And I picked up some Lysol wipes for my car. Um, I picked up some Mane and Tail conditioner. I should have picked up some onion powder because I'm out, but Anyways, I picked up some mane and tail conditioner for my hair. I like to put that in there when I just do like a curly down look. It really holds your curls well. And I picked up some regular ketchup. Um, my kids are wanting some like quick and easy lunches. So I thought this would be a good idea for them. Just pick it, stick it in the microwave or actually I think, yeah, three minutes in the microwave. Um, hot water three minutes in the hot, uh, microwave and then I picked up them some cocoa puffs Because they go through it like I swear so fast and I also picked up some Spanish style rice because I'm doing taquitos and beans and red rice this week and I'm doing and I picked up some heavy-duty scrub scrub bro, uh, What is it? <laughs> heavy-duty scrub 
sponges for the kitchen and I picked up some Rouse or is it Rayos Mar marinara for homemade pizza we're doing and also some asparagus um, spears and I picked up this blue formula I'm gonna see if he likes it I don't know so far no but we'll see and that's all I got for Walmart I went in there for some gloves I did find him some gloves and I picked up some milk as well which is in the refrigerator What's up, guys? I just asked you, can you turn the TV down? I did. I said, I said, be quiet for a minute, you guys. You know what, David? Make that face again and see what happened. That's what I thought. In Hooters, I am back. I am at home now. It was a long day. I ended up finishing my cases. Um, I actually only did five patients instead of seven. The OB I had actually ended up being way too early for OB um, anatomy scan. She was only like 15, 16 weeks and you have to be between 18 and 20 weeks. After work, I left there, went to Target, picked up a couple things. Um, and I'm going to knock you out, little boy. Sorry. That's Braxton. You know, Braxton, I, I wash my hair too, so Braxton it's drying. And so I ended up going to my dad's house, and then I'm back home. I cooked dinner, cooked steak. How was the steak? Oh, well, my he kicked, steak. He was cooked all his right. own steak. You know, it he's was good. But Fourteen, it was all thinking right. he's John better Ram cook than you. James Ramsey, what's his name? James Ramsey. What's his name? Wow. What's his name? Gordon Ramsey? Yeah, he thinks he's Gordon Ramsey in the kitchen. He tried to tell me like. Mom, you shouldn't cook this. Mom, you should baste the steak. Baste? Baste it. Is it baste it? Not baste it. It's baste it. It's not baste it. It's baste it. It's not baste it. Basic. David, tell him it's not ba it's basting. It. It's basting. It's baste it. See what I'm saying? 14 year olds. They just don't understand. Mm -mm. They just don't understand. David, how'd that song go? Any Hooters, it was a lovely day. My last patient was a pelvic, and her appointment was literally at 12 o'clock. <laughs> and she, she, a pelvic shouldn't take, it's Braxton! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> a pelvic should not take no more than 15 minutes, 20 minutes at the most. And after her pelvic was done, I literally, we literally sat there and talked about everything traveling, um, COVID. She was an RN, and we just had a really good conversation. Her husband is a pastor, and oh my goodness, like, we left there saying, like, we're going to pray for each other. We probably should have prayed right then and there. I I don't really like saying, oh, I'm going to pray for you. Well, what's stopping you from paying, praying for them right then and there? Braxton, I'm going to need you to stop so. And so it would be really, like, beneficial if you just pray for the person right then and there. Instead of just saying, hey, I'll pray for you. But different circumstances calls for different measures i get that but we just sat there and talked for an hour and a half she did not leave my office until 1 30 so we had a really good conversation um and i tell you i really really love my patients if you're going to get into this field you're going to meet a wonderful people you know and they need you just as much as you need them and when i say that it's like sometimes your patient speaks speaks to you in different ways and she was definitely one of them um i had another one yesterday that did the same thing um with the one where i told you about she was pregnant and we just had a really good conversation too but anyways i cooked dinner took a shower and washed my hair now i'm about to go to bed because i have to wake up at four o'clock in the morning so I apologize for not getting back on here in time, however, or after work or what have you. Um, but I had a wonderful day. Ended at 1.30. Left there. Like I said, went to Target. Did some errands. Went to my dad's house. Came home. Cooked dinner. 
wash clothes and take a shower now i'm in bed so i'm going to sign off here i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog do you have something to say son because you're interrupting me so speak Hi. tell them about your workout yesterday i told them about it already oh um it was very good talk to the camera um look was, at the camera it was very good mm -hmm. um i'm sore uh and tomorrow i'm going back now tell me this why do you want to work out to get in shape and to look better Look better. Oh, you so handsome already. My hands are bubbles. Anyways, we're going to sign off here, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. And don't remember. And don't remember. Please remember. <laughs> remember to hit that subscribe button if you are new. Stick around. I do a lot more content of ultrasound, family vlogs, and things like that. We would love for you to hang out with us, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace. Searching for something that ain't lost. Have we got a, our lines crossed? We're wasting time with stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better.